<laughs> Dude, that was two hits and that thing was off. That's unbelievable. That's super impressive. So I held it with one hand on the other tire we did. I didn't feel any kickback. It didn't hurt my wrist at all. Wow. Nice. So it's a nice gentle, it's gentle but powerful, I call it. Oh yeah, you can tell because this is full power. <coughs> you know, you get the air ones where you hit that and it spins extreme RPMs. This one doesn't. Right. And it took the nuts off, no problem. Man. That's insane. Let's I mean, you can see the rust on them, dude. Oh yeah, you can see those things have been on there for a while. Let's do it. You want to do another one real fast? Yeah. For us? All right, guys, let's check it out. Man, you could tell that one had That been... one is rust just on the the threads. Yeah. Yeah, it was a nice rusty one. <laughs> Man. <laughs> this one's cool. All right, Eric, so you're loving this thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What this did you really use before one. this, though? Oh, we used a big old air one that you would hear hit like 80 times before it actually moved any of them. Wow. That's insane. This is the one they normally use. So this is their one inch gun. It's an air powered Ingersoll Rand gun. Now they're checking the weight. And you're saying it weighs about the same? Yeah. I know that little air gun's pretty heavy. Okay, well, yeah, you take that off the front slider. So this one might be just a little bit lighter after taking that off, but they're pretty, pretty close to being the same. I just like this one because I don't got to use an air hose anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Illinois Motors, look at what they do here. Auction trucks, they buy all kinds of trucks, they refurbish them, they sell them. They're one of the biggest dealers here in the Midwest as far as trucks and equipment. And uh, you guys are constantly, constantly working on these things. Oh yeah. And we can tell, look at, who smiles when they get a tool for work? Hey man. Yeah. Right? <laughs> this, is, this is gonna right? be nice. It's yeah, like more yeah. work. I'm not smiling. Well, it's but way Eric's better than smiling. doing it with the air hose and having to pull it out, change out the air hose, get it all the way over here, and then trip over the airline. Right. Yeah, exactly. And you guys ever go out in the field? It's perfect to take. That's another thing. We could do it right out in our yard. <laughs> <laughs> Continues to take it off like butter. I bet you those things haven't been off in five years rusted out here and literally you'd have to take a torch to some of them oh yeah, yeah. really absolutely you'd have to take a torch well you're putting steel up against aluminum oh if yeah that sits there for too long you, that's, Does that's it gonna corrode? be really bad to get off that thing just took it right off like it was nothing all right eric what do you guys do here at illinois motors we buy trucks from auction we take them in fix them up make sure they're 100 road ready and then we sell them nice and you guys are one of the biggest dealers in the midwest for used trucks how many trucks do you think you work on a week? Oh, uh, in one week, I'd probably say eight. Eight? Mm -hmm. And then it's everything from what? Tire changes to engine replacement? Everything from tire changes to fully taking out an engine and putting in a new one. Wow, what's the most common thing you see here that you're doing work-wise? Uh, coolant leaks. Coolant leaks? Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> find a lot of coolant leaks on things. Okay, so coolant leaks. And injectors. Injectors? Oh, really? Are those expensive injectors? Uh, now with prices, yeah, and yeah. can get kind of pricey. That's crazy. crazy. But we make everything back to where it's good to go, runs great. All right, make sure sweet. people go up make money. Sweet. And then with this tool we just gave you, you're pretty much going to... It, is your life going to be easier or are you just happy to get a free tool? No, it'll actually make my life a lot easier. Yeah, that. that's cool. Absolutely. What do, what do you think you're going to use it mostly for? Oh, anything suspension work and taking off tires oh yeah i never thought about that suspension oh work. suspension work absolutely if you try and get any of these big ones out that's going to be the perfect thing to do it oh yeah for sure on steer tires i would use that because mainly on steer tires you want to torque them right so if you put them on with that and then you can finish off torquing them if you put it full power you're going to over torque them right if you over torque these lugs they can break very easily and you don't want that going down the road. Right, right. What? Oh, hell yeah. Wow. That's incredible. That's incredible? So no hand tool would have taken that off before? 
Without a twelve. Not inch. without eight feet of pipe. Really? And doing this in the truck, we can easily do that with this gun. Holy cow. Eric, what do you think? Uh, that's... <laughs> without using a torch, that's the first time I've seen that, like, come off. Wow. Especially on one that hasn't been off in who knows how long. All right, so guys, you never had this kind of tool before. You all have smiles on your faces, honest opinions. Do you think you're going to use the heck out of it? Oh, absolutely. Every day. Yeah? Every day, all day. Do you think it's one of those tools that if you if I take it away from you, you're going to miss it? I'll tackle you before you yeah. get out the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's staying here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, that's it. Ingersoll Rand, designed for the professional, designed for a place like this. These guys are working on these trucks all day long. They have no clue where these trucks come from. They could have been, you know, lug nuts been sitting for months, for years. Who knows? But this tool is actually taking it all off. We just did a job that they normally use a torch and a big pipe wrench to take off, but we got it done with the Ingersoll.